Oh, I am so excited to draw today. I am going to, hey, there we go. I love this technology. Welcome to our 30 drawings in 30 days. I got to get that. <laughs> I got to get that slogan down. 30 days, 30 drawings are a big goal. Let me put myself on the camera so I can say hi. Hi, everybody. I am I'm so glad that you all are joining me today on this 30 days, 30 drawings challenge. I'm proud of you for accepting the challenge. Check out our drawing today. Look at that. Isn't that cool? We're going to draw cool koala the kid. Yeah. So if you're ready, let me turn this camera off and let's jump right into it for our three-dimensional drawing lesson today. Hope you have your paper and your pencil ready. Remember, I would love you to uh, start, create your own little art kit. Um, it, what I have in my drawing kit is I have my pencil, I have my click eraser, I have my stompy, and I have my dusting brush. Those four things plus your sketchbook. Any sketchbook would do great. Um, any loose piece of paper you do great. I mean, I've drawn on paper plates before when I couldn't find any paper. But any any anything will do great. Now, what I I also have a little a cool little uh, art kit bag, that I, a little zippered bag pouch that I keep all my things. And I got this at the art store for about fifteen dollars. So always you're always ready to, with your uh, drawings and your sketchbook. Always ready to draw. You take your finger and take your hand and go aha! Ready for your imagination launch. Ready for pencil power. Ooh, I I, I love this puppet right here. Pencil power, 30 days, 30 drawings. This is you right here. Woohoo! Pencil power. So, let let's draw now. I'm gonna draw this koala bear. I was starting a little warm up here, but let's draw the cool koala of the kit. All right. Now we're gonna start by blocking it. We're gonna sketch and shape this this uh, character. We're gonna develop it very lightly. Block it in, shape it. See, we're going to draw this guy right here. I love you. I love you very much. You guys are genius artists. Now, I'm going to draw the hands, the arms up here. Now, this is going to be tapering. We're, we're developing the character. It's a thin wrist. Now, watch this. This is thin at the wrist. It gets thicker toward the body. It's called tapering. Okay, it's thinner at the wrist. It gets a little bit thicker at the body. See how... It's thinner, it gets a little bit thicker. I got one kind of crazy on that guy. I don't have to make him that thick. And then, then I'll kind of sketch in where the body's going to come down here. All right, this is going to be really cool. Now, if you're going to make a puppet out of this, make sure when you rip it out, you leave a long handle. So when you use your smartphone to make movies, you go, hey, I love you. I love you all. Give me a hug. When you make movies, you can uh, see... If you have a handle on yours, you, but you make these cool paper puppets. Yeah, isn't that awesome? All right, now, let's block this guy in. We're going to draw the ears and then the textured fur for Koala the Kid. So I'm going to block in the ears. Where is this ears going to go here? Now, take a look at this. In my book, you can draw in 30 days. This is one of the, well, this is one of the lessons that I uh, used here. Let me show you this. Let me find the koala bear. Now, I want to show you in the book, and you can draw in 30 days. This is my this is my shameless plug. Yeah, Mark Kistler's book plug. Get this from Amazon.com. Oh, go ahead and get 10 copies of it. Now, look at this. On page 85, I'm showing you how this, we're going to draw this exactly the same way. Now, look at the ear. The ear, when we draw the koala, we're going to use the same lines that you have in your own ear. The helix, the concha, and the tragus. Um, and now look at some of the students when they did the lesson. Here's my sketchbook page. You see, this is my actual sketchbook page. I did a whole family of them, which you can do. But some of the students wanted to draw more realistic. And this is Suzanne. Uh, her, this is her. She's one of the parents. All the examples in this book are from parents who uh, did the lessons. I got adults to add. This was my book for parents and for teachers and adults. A lot of kids now are using this too. But when I wrote it, I intended for that this to be really... Uh, for a parent a teacher guide to really get everybody all you old all you older adults drawing too all right since all the, my other books I've written 14 and my other 13 books are um, kids books of teaching kids how to draw in 3d all right so I'm gonna kind of balance the sides of the ears out because let's see what we're gonna do here we're gonna put the helix in the culture here let's let's put a guideline let's put a guideline where we're gonna put the the eyes and the nose and the mouth that'll help us kind of block things in 
and I know my hands are going to be spread wide. It's going to oh, good morning, hello, where's your pencil? Let's draw in 3D. So there we go. We're getting all blocked in. We're shaping our koala, koala the kid. Now I'm going to draw his eyes here. Now I start pushing harder and drawing darker. Isn't this cool? Hey, thank you for spending this 15 minutes with me drawing today. I am so glad you've accepted the challenge. 30 drawings, 30 days. Just imagine what's going to happen with your imagination and creativity. It's going to take off. 30 days of drawing every day. Awesome. This is so cool. All right, now I'm going to draw the eyelids. Now watch this. I'm going to kind of droop the eyelids down. This is using contour lines. Draw this guy here. He's looking a little sleepy. And then I'm going to tuck his eye under here. This is overlapping. See, the eyelid overlaps. So the pupil will be behind there. That look great. All right, now inside here, I'm going to leave a little reflection and a little reflection on the nose. And let's go ahead and darken the scent. See what we're going to do here? I'm going to darken in the cool koala nose and the eyes. And we'll put a little mouth down there. Think of the great stories that you can write about this. You guys, you girls and boys, you parents, you grandparents, you aunts and uncles and scientists, you teachers, you, you're the artist, you're the author, illustrators of the next generation. Think of the stories you're going to write. You know, that's... Think of the movie Frozen. I had a lot of my past alumni students animate that movie. Besides the characters being so powerful, the story was fantastic. And that's why it became a, a, a global success. Same with Kung Fu Panda. My, the, my favorite element, of course, is the characters. Hey, let's put some texture here. Look at this. Let's put some texture. Let's put that texture. We love texture. The story in Kung Fu Panda was fantastic. Same with Despicable Me. The power of a great storyline. So when you do a drawing, take a minute, then jot on the uh, jot around, draw some stories or some dialogue in your drawing. Thirty days drawing challenge. Fill each page up with characters and story ideas, and also backgrounds for your characters. Or uh, maybe some houses, or maybe the koala. This koala lives in a lives in a tree here. I got to show you this. I've had this. Let me see if I can reach it. I've had this hanging on my wall for a while. Look at this. Look at this. Isn't this wonderful? See this right here. I did a uh, I did a pop up paper art card. This was from that uh, very very famous art teacher, Miss Rebecca De Groot. You can see her some of her pop up lessons in my uh, markkisslalive.com. But look at that, isn't that neat? I did this in her class one time. I kind of went outside the box. <laughs> see, most of the people kept it. And then you put a... See, you're supposed to do this. See, you're supposed to have... Yeah, let me show you. You're supposed to have another card here, right? And then you open the card up. And oh, da 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 But I went kind of crazy. And I made it pop out. But what do you think? Do you love it? Isn't that cool? See, always, I love thinking outside the box. And I want to encourage you to think of all the possibilities of your piece of paper. Now, if you want to do something like that, you can go to markkisterlive.com. And uh, uh, this is on my uh, Art Day Mondays with Mr. Mark. Art Day Mondays with Mr. Mark. That's a membership site. It's markkisterlive.com. It's really, really cool. It's uh, a little different from these 15-minute live YouTube vignettes. Um, Art Day Mondays with Mr. Mark is a homeschool and a classroom curriculum. Here, let's put the helix in the concha. See this? Let's put the helix in the concha. It's a, a art curriculum for Mondays for you homeschoolers and classroom uh, students. Um, it's a register. It's a, a registration site. So thank you if you're members. Thank you for paying that the registration it's $49 right now 50% off and we'd love to have your membership and support thank you um, it's an hour long lesson at 10 o'clock Mondays for eight and younger mini marshmallows and at 1115 it's an hour long for intermediate and advanced students and at uh, two o'clock it's another mini marshmallow uh, lesson and then at 315 this is all Texas time now so it's every Monday, and then during the summers, it's on Tuesday. So it's really, really a wonderful program. And we have live camera. That's what I like about it. I can see your drawings. You can hold them up to the camera, and I can, and you can show the world. We have over a 1,000 students all over the world, just about every time zone. 
with my uh, Mark Kistler Live Art Days with Mondays. The way you sign up for that is you go to markkistlerlive.com and click sign up. It's really, really fun. Thank you again for your students who have been with me for several years for your support, parents. That's just, I'm so glad you've incorporated my lesson into your curriculum. Here, now look at your hand. See the hand right here? I'm going to put the thumb, the thumb's going up. I'm going to put the thumb up here. I'm going to put the thumb up here, okay? Thumbs are usually going up. If you're shaking hands or reaching or waving, thumbs are either going up or pointing toward the head here. And then I'm going to splay out his fingers here. All right, see, put the four fingers and the thumb. Thumbs going up first. And then I'm going to kind of, I want to make sure the hands are about the same size since they're the same distance from your eye. Now, if one hand was closer, I would make, uh, now that look about the same size? Yeah, it looks like about, let me pull it out a little bit. Do you guys like that? Give me half face, sad face. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, this is not Art Day Mondays. Yeah, you, on, on the Art Day Mondays, there's little icons down here. You can give me a happy face, sad face, medium face. You can give me a panic face. Wait, slow down. Ah! You can send me text messages, and uh, you can show your drawing on the camera. It's just so fun. It's really, really cool. And here, let's show you. Look, I'm going to put this here. I'm starting to get mail. I'm putting more texture. Thank you for the mail, you guys. If you want to send me your drawing, I would love to get your drawings. You send me your mail. You go to uh, that Mark Kistler Live. Click the contact tab. Let's put the texture here. I love this texture. Look at that. It's so cool. I'm going to give him. Um, before I do that, I want to give him a little smile down here. A little, little, little koala bear smile. He's like, I love you. Little lip right here. Isn't that fun? Um, you send me your drawing. Now, if you send me your drawing, and if you send a self addressed stamped envelope, Remember, I'd love to send you one of my art trading cards here, okay? These are really fun. See this? You, you, you pick which one. All the all the uh, explanation rules on how to get a free trading card, they're at the contact tab at markkisslerlive.com or markkissler.com, okay? Click that. And, hey, I would love to send you one, but please, 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 one per family, okay? One per family. Is that fair? You send me a drawing, I'll send you a, uh, a card, one per household. Um, I want you, you guys all to hang on the refrigerator and inspire your whole family, okay? That'd be really, really, really cool. Um, now, let's put some more shading. This is dark down here. Look, I'm going to have the light come from above. Look at this. Our, let's look at our little guy here. Here's our... Look at, we have... We, you can have a whole whole family of them. Look at, yay! You can rip this one out and have a whole movie for these guys. All right, well, let's now... Let's put the shadow under the neck. Put the shadow under the neck here. I love that. Then let's shade. I'm going to blend this too, but I'm going to scribble shade first underneath the arm, coming around here. And look at how I, we did that. I did the koala, but then I put up the koala in the trees. Can you guys try that? Would you try that for your for your uh, assignment? How about trying that? Put make make put these guys in the background. Isn't that a great great idea? Draw a tree. I want you to take these lessons, even though these are my little 15-minute lessons, right? One lesson a day for 30 days. I want you to take it and expand on it. If you have time, draw a whole page of these, all right? Yeah, I'm going to clean this up, clean up the extra lines. This is looking really, really great. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, now I'm going to shade over here. I'm going to... Clean that up. Our wonderful, our wonderful Koala the Kid. Woohoo! You guys are doing fantastic. I'm so proud of you. You loving it? You loving it? Oh, this is great. Let's blend it around here. Now, let's take a look at the book again to see how close we are to the Koala. And this is the book I'd recommend you guys get. If you don't have it yet, you go to Amazon.com and you get one of my books. I would love you to have these on your drawing desk as your reference guide. And thanks for your support. I appreciate it. Um, let me show you that koala. I mean, there it is. See, this is one. This is one way to draw it. I really love it when I did a whole page. You can do that too. You see that? All those little koalas. It's just an idea to launch your practice page. All right. Let's zoom in here. All right, very, very cool, very cool. Okay, hey, how many of you have our subscribers? Are you guys subscribers to my YouTube site? If not, thank you so much for subscribing. 
and I want to see your koala bear. Would you show it to me? I see, I'm looking online right now. I see I have a handful of people. I'm so glad you guys are joining me here. Um, do me a favor. I want to see how you did on this koala bear. This one's a little bit tricky. A little bit tricky. I love it. Take your finger. I'm going to blend it with my finger. I'm going to use my finger today. Look at that. Leave the eyes white. Leave the eyes white. And I'm going to take this. Um, the way you show me your drawings is go to Facebook. Friend me, okay? If you friend me, you look for the these three birds behind my picture. There's a thousand Mark Kisslers on Facebook, so make sure you, you request a friend from the right Mark Kissler from me, right? And all uh, then you can post your drawing and tag me. It'll po it'll show up on my what do you call that? My uh, bolt board or wall or timeline? I I don't know all the fancy schmancy terms for it, but it'll show up on my Facebook page, right? So friend me and then you take a photo of it, right? You parents, I want to see you parents and grandparents drawings too, okay? Oh, this was so much fun. I cannot believe that I am out of time. Thank you so much for drawing with me here. Let me let me put the camera on here so I can say farewell to you fine, fine artist. And thank you for taking the 30 days, 30 drawings challenge. You guys did fantastic. Draw every day, okay? Draw, draw, draw. And I'll see you on the next drawing lesson. Bye, everybody. Sharpen your pencil, grab some paper. Get ready, it's almost time. Mark will show you how to get on the paper. What's in your mind? A rocket ship, a pair of shoes, a shooting star, and some Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Did you enjoy drawing today? Head over to draw3d.com and join now. Pencil power!